Well, good e evening. So this is part one of my uh, Microaces Newport build. And I've got my sheet all ready to go. Got my instruction book out. And the first piece is the fuselage side. So I'm going to go off camera a minute. And pop you up there. Now, as with all the uh, Microaces kits, the first part is always fuselage, which you've got to build up. And the very first thing you have to do is separate the parts from the plastic and you have to score at various points. Any curved items, I'll show you here, any curved bits, you have to score on the inside to get it to bend around. So without further ado, I'm going to remove the fuselage. You have to score uh, along along the front here with a score line show and bevel the back of the fuselage where it joins in. Uh, I'll demonstrate in a minute. First job, first job is to score. And it, like it says in the instructions, if you've never scored it before, it's a good idea to practice on uh, just a bit of scrap to get the technique that works for you. I'm just going to mark on the inside here where the back of the score lines go to. Lightly because uh, I don't want to score them in the wrong place. And just to keep this from moving about. It's going to hold it down to a bit of masking tape. Printed on the plan is some little dotted lines that just show you this is a fairly new idea, I think, from John. It's a good one. Shows you where the end of the score lines are going to go. Same with that side. All I'm doing is just transferring it. Now you can use a pencil. Let me demonstrate it for you. A bit of scrap here, look. Can you see this? I'm sure if you can see this. You can do it with a pencil. So yeah, it's three score lines. And it doesn't it bends a bit, look. It's not too bad. Can you see that? It's bending. That's all you need. But I press quite hard there. Sometimes I use the back of the scalpel blade. I'll demonstrate that for you. One, two, three. That's three quite light presses. So I've got another score there. And that bends a very similar way. Honestly, there's, there's no not a lot of difference. Maybe the slightly thinner bladed score blade it holds its holds its shape a little bit better so maybe the back of the blade but you know if you want to keep scoring it till it goes through then you'll know when you must stop so let's begin the scoring which is parallel to the side going just down one two three and the next one My mark one, two, three, and the next one. Got to bevel them, but this you can see these scores. Can you see the scores? Yeah, that will allow the fuselage cheeks to bend around, form a nice curve when the glue the form is in. That one as well. That's how. Oops, that's how we uh, get the cheeks to go around the corner. So the next job is to bevel. 
shallow bevel and for the beveling I use one of these which John sells as well which I can recommend a little size that I just start scoring at, um, beveling at 45 degrees You can see if you've got a constant bevel because the the bit you're sanding will be the same width all the way down. Take it off, have a look, see how you're doing. Still got a bit of a blunt edge there, I'm not there yet. And uh, I'll do the rest on the other side because I've got a lot more control. But you see the idea, I'm just beveling that edge to 45 degrees so when we bend the fuselage around and put the top on, it'll obviously fit. Um, well, I've just realised as well that I had, there's two more score lines I needed to put in on the fuselage to allow the sides to bend around. So and they go right into there and they go from there. I can probably do this without sticking it down. One, two, three. So the score lines are a dark ink, so I've got two more score lines on there, look, and that'll allow the fuselage to bend. But when I've done the 45 degrees on the inside edge as well, that'll allow it to join up beautifully. When I go in there, I just let the Let the fuselage side hang over the edge a bit and you can get right in there then using this technique and get right into the very corner where it needs to be beveled. You think how can I get how can you get a big tool like this into there where well, you don't need to say so it just hangs over the edge. You can work on that edge then. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to Finish off on the other side doing the 45 degree bevels on all four sides and a shallow bevel at each end there because the fuselage sides are going to come around and join and that will be that piece prepared. So that's all done now. Scored and mitered on all the edges and it's ready to bend around, form into a um, fuselage shape when I've built the keel. And the first part of the keel is D1. That's also got some uh, beveling to do on it as well. Sometimes you get a little bit too much left on the bottom where you where you cut it. And I like just to clean that off. I need to bevel this on the two sides, sixty degree bevel around the edge, caught on the curved bit, the tail skid. That'll be and a shallow bev hole on each side at the back. I'll start with the shallow one on the back. That side. Okay. I need plastic parts cutting out. I need, yeah, and all the plastic parts is on the plastic part bit. And I need these two bits down here. Okay. Put adhesive straight away on the, oops, on the plastic parts. So that's what I'll do. Now you might have noticed that it seems to be coming out of this tube pretty quickly. Attach it immediately to allow a little bit of wiggle time. If it starts to dry, you lose your wiggle. Okay. And so that's the keel built. We're going to put that down, um, set, set aside while it dries. The bits you've just glued on are pink, the bits you're about to glue on are blue. 
So I'm going to glue on, for instance, S2, which is a sticker, S for sticker, which is actually probably the back of the cockpit, onto D3. And then those two components following the black arrows stick in the slot. Same with S1, goes onto the back of the bulkhead. It's the uh, instrument panel will go on this former and that will also go onto the front slot there and he tells you to glue it little glue symbol so that one to there that one to there and then both pieces onto the onto the keel and that's what it will look like once those bits are stuck on the next bits are the blue bits. In fact, the pink doesn't signify what you've just done. It signifies where you put the glue. D4 and D5 both go onto the keel. I'm going to end up with this on the next page. But for the minute, I'll work on the former's right. stickers. D3, S2. Is that one there? Now I find the best way to do the stickers, they're quite thin, very thin, just lift up a corner that isn't going to be seen in case I crinkle it very slightly, lift it carefully off of this sheet. Now it will stick absolutely first time, so a little bit of saliva on the back, as much as you like actually. then place it in position like that carefully pad it down that's the back of the cockpit this piece of mahogany will look of it or something and this is the dashboard Plenty of saliva on the back. It's going to go not handed, so it doesn't matter. Just to make sure, I'll put a bit of extra saliva on there. Sticking quite well. I'm happy. Okay, so there we got that one made as well. So both of those can now glue onto the keel. Make sure you've got the right slots. That go into there. If you find it's slightly too wide with the plastic reinforcement on either side, it's a little tip for you. You can just crush, it, crush the foam where the plastic is. And it should go in. And then as it expands out again, it tightens up again. A little bit of glue in there. Move it on the side. Move it on the side. Put that in. Glue helps it to go in, actually lubricates it a bit. A little bit, a little bit of scrap handy. So if you get any surplus glue, you can just wipe it off and or it just makes a better join if there's an equal amount. So check it for squareness. Is that down far enough? I think it is. It's flush with the bottom. So it's flush with the bottom and oh, it looks pretty square to my eye. And the other bit, front piece sit right on the very front like that so I'll pop that on now glue there bit there and bit there so I'll sit that on with the sticker facing the cockpit wipe off any surplus Square it up, 
just, I'm just squaring it up by eye really because that's all it needs and there is a certain amount of flexibility in it when you come to fit the fuse last size anyway right that front bit's a little bit delicate so I'm going to stop there I'm not going to fit the other two on tonight I'm going to let that that uh, glue dry nice and nice and uh, solid there we are put the lid back on so just to recap tonight beveled up the fuselage put in the score lines where are we beveled it all up put in the score lines beveled up the keel stuck on the sides and pop the first two formers in with their stickers in place so there we are not a not a bad start to the job right guys see you next time thanks for looking in a little tip when you're gluing on the front former if you place it down on your work surface like that then you can easily see if the uh, keel is vertical if you just try and line it up by eye if it's a degree or two out it makes um, sticking the fuselage side on a little bit tricky um, it don't it just won't line up so get that as square as you possibly can making sure at the same time that uh, maybe you've got something that it's not gonna uh, a bit of polythene or something that it won't stick to the surface you know, she'll end up having to try and cut it off just a little tip for you